there's not many opportunities where somebody has gone through 20, 30 years of their career building video games and suddenly it's, hey, come out on the world's most advanced research vessel and start figuring out how we tie science and education and games together. We've got folks who come from film, from games, from education, all with a lot of experience in their respective fields. There's a fun challenge because everybody loves the ocean. Everyone loves the idea of protecting the ocean. How do we take this thing that we all know, that we all love, and get it in front of people using the skills that we have? If you were somebody visiting our planet for the first time, you would look for intelligent life in the ocean because that's the biggest habitat. And so we want everyone to kind of feel an empathy with the ocean. And interactive games, to me, is a great hook. This hackathon is unique for a number of reasons, but probably the biggest one is that we're doing it on a ship out at sea. You start exploring the ship and seeing all the technology that's available to you, and your mind just starts going. Hearing directly from the scientists and then seeing their data and them interacting with their data and how they can use it allowed us to start to pull it out in a way that we can create something way more accessible. There's so much of that. Every turn, every scientist we talk to, every technician we talk to, every sub-pilot. So you take all of that in and then you're trying to find out what is the fun part that also serves the purpose to make people more aware that this stuff is actually really, really important. The project's called Deep Dive. So you're starting the boat, you're steering the boat, you need to deploy the CTD, you're going to collect the data on the way down. What we're trying to do is make something that people can, you know, interact with and understand kind of as soon as they see it. So one of the ideas that we came up with was let's make an Ocean X mascot as a character that then we can sort of incorporate into the various game projects. One of our concepts it's kind of like a chase and tag game, but with sea creatures. I think it's super valuable because Ocean X gets to be there. They get to capture all of this stuff. And we could take that entire ecosystem and make it work where millions of people could get a sense of what's there under the water. So the pipeline that we're trying to put together is to help different pieces of science information, data, and everything else that we have. We create games and artworks and applications and make this more accessible to a broader audience. I feel our job on this hackathon is to kind of put all of those building blocks in place. There will be assets, there will be game concepts, there will be templates for a few to themes to work on and build up on. One really exciting possibility is that some of our work gets handed off to students who could continue to develop it and make it better. We want to, in the next one, bring more of the juniors in essentially so that they don't need to have 20 years experience and see how they can use the tools that we put together this time. When they see all of the things in this amazing digital toolkit, they're like, oh, Oh wow, cool. I always dreamed of having a cool game about this and now you're telling me we can just drop assets into this template and it's going to become a reality. Amazing. Where do I sign up?